What's up? What's good, y'all? It's your boy Timothy. I'm back with another video. So today we'll be reacting to Hannah. I know, I know, I was supposed to upload a couple of videos. You know, there's a lot of music that came out, but then school has just been so hectic. Y'all know, seconds you might say, just school has just been hectic. I haven't been able to like take a lot of videos. I'm just making an exception for this one. But anyway, Hannah just dropped a new album called The Girl in the Durag. I've had my eye on Anna, on Hannah for, for quite some time now. Ever since she dropped uh, Gimme and Alive, if you wanna they haven't listened to her, I suggest that you start listening to those two songs. I really like uh, Alive, it's one of my favorites. So she just dropped a new album. I've been anticipating this because I, I, she's been giving like singles for 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 some time now so i was anticipating like an album to kind of like get a picture of how she's going to present her album not just singles you feel so without wasting your time let's get into it this is the guy in the do rack let's go the first song is never doubt let's get into it but it was nice it, it sounded like you put in like a cassette or like a, a disc or something inside a player it kind of resembles like the start of this day so that's that's kind of fire <laughs> details in a song can make a song like rate higher for me i don't know if y'all hear the i don't know there's like a horn or like a trumpet or something looping in the background but it's subtle yet it's 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 impactful for me i don't know i i kind of like that <laughs> never doubt completely love this song the, the the vocals at the end of the song it kind of like made me reminded me of alive which is my favorite song by her by the way it kind of like gave me some nostalgia i really like this song i feel like this is what i had imagined that she's capable of doing when i'm listening to this song it kind of like sounds like a mixture of peace her other song like more on the rapping side and alive like give me also like the the vocal side of her all meshed together into this one song so it kind of like gave me like show her, her abilities to like tap into different pockets a melody pocket rapping pockets the production was good her delivery was good her flow was smooth if the, the album is going to sound like this it's definitely gonna be fire I, and without wasting your time let's go to the next song it's called low key
has a nice follow-up song for Never Doubt. So far, the old two songs that I've listened to, the, this song is completely different from the previous song. Production-wise, there's already like versatility and also her delivery and the kind of songs that she, she's tapping into, the kind of songs that she's tapping into, it's showing her versatility. So um, I'm excited to hear the rest of the album. Anyway, the third song is Have an Interlude. seen her live video before I just don't remember the details oh, this kind of sounds familiar getting the number in the club this sounds familiar oh that was have an interlude that's for people who are in a relationship just dedicate this song to your partner whatever anyway let's go to the next song the next song is okay I think she's featuring Nalu on this song her friend she's also very talented go check that out of influence of certain people that contributed to that but yeah this this was a nice song i actually liked it nadu came in with the vocals she delivered she has really nice vocals i i recommend that you check her out i didn't know that she can actually like kind of rap 
which is a surprise and made this song like cooler for me. Anyway, the next song is The Girl in the Durag. It came before the album. I don't know if I've listened to it. I don't think I've listened to it. Anyway, let's go into it. Oh, okay. I think I've listened to the song. So I'll just move on to the next song, High Life. The Girl in the Durag was. I don't know. I don't think I've listened to it enough. I've probably listened to it once or twice, but it was decent when I listened to it. Anyway, this song is High Life. I think she posted a snippet. She sent a snippet this one time and it was fine. Say you can have all the money in the bank, but I fuck with energy. That's how that's how it's supposed to be. You might have a lot of money in the bank, but I only fuck with energy. I can't fuck with people who talk shit. Can't keep up with their lives. I post every moment with caution. The industry strange. I might just end up a doctor. Cutting out a snack so we can get to the roster. Uh, I'm not good for money. You can't be yourself because why you're acting like funny. I was in character. Man, this shit is above me. I don't know who's really this person. They don't love me. I feel you. I feel you. I can relate. Going out and walking home. I can't be swimming in money if I can still float. You know? But big up to the music. I don't see a world where that's just not what I'm doing. Engineering's a gift to be honest. It's keeping you moving. I just hope that it's worth all the pieces of me I'm losing. I hope it's worth all the pieces of me that I'm losing. Welcome to the high life. Welcome to the I don't know. I'm not. I'm not getting any bad song so far. I'm not like, getting any bad song. It's actually pretty good. I liked High Life. She sounded mature on the song. The topics that she tapped into. She sounded more mature. Talking about you can have money. Money is not everything. You can have money. I fuck with energy. Don't tolerate bad energy in your life just because someone has money. Protect your energy. The next song is Bad Habits. What's your bad habit? What, what's a habit that you want to quit? And it's bad. Comment down below. Comment section. What's mine? Yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> It's a super part, to be honest. Oh, 
Oh, she's featured in Florida. Luna Florida in I think. song I, I fucking hate that don't 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 keep toxic traits and blame it on your star sign welcome back welcome back that was bad habits i don't have much to say about this song it's just a song about bad habits what are your bad habits coming down below the next song is daddy's hat let's hear what he said This song was uh, Daddy Sad. They just sharing the advice that her dad once told her. That's basically it. The next one is BTW. I think it's by the way, it means by the way. So let's go. I like how she's balancing rapping and vocals at the same time and singing at the same time. It's kind of fire. On every song, even the previous song. song is weekend this is probably a turn up song because it's called weekend but there's only one way to find out so. okay this better be a turn up song because i'm ready for it oh oh she's featuring Sinisi. i think it's miss Sinisi, if i'm saying it correctly he was one of the winners for the the test your eyes competition that she won also so yeah, they featured on that. This is probably some R&B vibe. Cause he's a singer. Hey, R&B. That's fine. R&B trap so hard. Mm. 
the use, bitch, but you always been a dick, so I say that shit. The balls on this beat is crazy. I had to but someone at the party gonna say some shit. You had a true face, and I'd be damned if I let you near this new face. I'm sure you think you got me wrapped around your finger, and you still got a shot, but I can promise that it's too late. Yeah, I know you're too late. Sometimes you gotta be. <laughs> that was the weekend. I like how she's exploring different sounds. She's not like fixated or like she didn't box herself into like one specific sound. She's kind of like expanding and thinking outside the box and tapping into different sounds. Because this was R&B vibe or trap soul type of vibe, different from the some of the songs that she was on, like the rapping and everything. The last song is on the way. OTW. I got my shit on the way. I got my shit on the way. Come on, come on, yes. <laughs> I've said this a hundred times already. Just give me a fucking guitar in a song, and it just—I don't know. It just auto—I automatically like it. Automatically like it. So long as you give me a guitar in a song. It just ups the rating for me. I'm not gonna lie. So it's like a cheat code, basically. on this song is beautiful I'm not even one minute into this song but this is probably gonna be my favorite production on this song I'm not gonna lie on this album this I don't know there's just so many different elements combining together to kind of like I don't know this is this is fire this is fire she hasn't even rapped or said much on this song but the production I don't is great it's kind of like right here already but I don't know there's something about this so I think it's the guitar I don't know it's playing here it's it's playing into my straight to my soul it's not playing to my ears it's playing something to my soul that's how crazy it is what this is crazy that's crazy my production is crazy This is deeper than 
You did a fucking great job. Oh, at the end of the song, she it sounds like someone is stopping it, taping, taking it out. That's fine. It com it complements like the beginning of the song, the intro, and they inserted the theme. On the way, that song was beautiful. That song was beautiful. The production was. I didn't even need to hear what she has to say. Even if she didn't say anything, it was just the production or the the instrumental going. It would have still been a, a great intro. It's probably part of my top three. This was the girl in the do right. I'm actually I'm actually impressed. I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually impressed. She she met my expectations. Probably even exceeded them a little bit. This this was a great listen. I'm not gonna lie. The first listen because this is my first listen. First listen. This was a great listen. I enjoyed it throughout. I didn't really find a bad song. The songs that I didn't really feel much about them were not bad songs. They were decent songs. Overall, this was a good. This was a good album. It was like a balance, complete balance between singing because she can sing. She can type into her melodies and vocal pocket and she can rap as well and were like really catchy bars in the throughout the album, like the Metro Booming line, which is I, I, I kinda liked it. And she balanced she basically balanced rapping and singing at the same time. Which is really good and she tapped into different sounds and experimented in, in, in terms of production. The production varied throughout the album. I, it kept on like changing and she tapped into different songs R&B There's this other song that kind of sounded like Afrobeat but not like fully into Afrobeat But it's like kind of tapping into Afrobeat Which is crazy Which is crazy I'm satisfied I can't wait to see what the future holds for her Anyway that's all I have for you today If you have reached this far I appreciate you Just leave down a comment below what your favorite song was I know OTW all the way is part of my favorite songs. Appreciate you. Leave a like, subscribe, share, and I'm out.